Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a search box powered by SiteSearch360 to Squarespace. The method we're using today works with any Squarespace website, even if your template doesn't have a built-in search function. You won't need to install any extensions, just copy and paste a few lines of code. Don't worry, we'll guide you through it. Zero coding skills necessary. Let's go ahead and edit your site. From the left sidebar, go to Pages, and select a page where you'd like the search box to be displayed. I'll be adding one to my home page today. Once we're in editing mode, I'm going to pick a spot for my search bar, hover over it, and click on the insert point on the left. Browse the content block library, select code, and remove the Hello World placeholder. Now let's head to SiteSearch360's Search Designer page. You'll find a link in the description. Tweak the colors, icons, and more to customize the look and feel of your search box and search results, and preview your changes immediately. Once you're done configuring, make sure you provide your site ID here. It's usually your site domain. If you don't have a site ID yet, hit that green sign up button to create a free SiteSearch360 account. Since we don't have a search box on our Squarespace site yet, we're going to add one first. So scroll down and copy the code for the search box here. Then go to the Squarespace editor and paste the snippet into the code block. Now I'm back here to copy the configuration scripts as well. This will both apply your custom styling and connect the SiteSearch360 engine to your site. Paste the configuration code right below your search box, hit apply, and save your changes. Now let's try out your new search. As you start typing, you'll notice a dropdown with search suggestions and your recent queries. And when you hit the search button or enter, full search results will open in a layover pop-up where your searchers can easily browse and click on results. If you'd prefer to show results directly on your site pages rather than in a layover, we recommend creating a dedicated search result page. So I'll just hit that plus button and add a blank page. Let's call it search results, and then hit edit to add some code to this new page as well. Let's add some page content so it doesn't look empty and sad. Give it a proper title, and now let's choose the part of the page where we want to embed the search results. Hover over it, click on the insert point, and add a code block just like we did before. What I've added here is basically an invisible block with an ID, results, so I can easily point the search engine to this container. You will find the exact code for it in the description below. Now let's add one more code block here above the search result container and go back to the search designer to tweak the configuration a little bit. Here's what to do. In the results settings, I click embed instead of layover. The search designer will prompt you to specify the search page URL slug, which is, in my case, slash search dash results. Make sure to fill it out here. Then scroll down and remember to specify one more thing the search result container selector. For me, it's going to be hashtag results, because that's the ID I've given it. The SiteSearch360 scripts are automatically updated and ready to use. So now, because I want to add a search bar to my search page as well, I'm going to add the same code snippet as before, the search box first, followed by the configuration scripts. Hit apply. Now, don't mind the search looking weird in the preview. Everything will look nice and work as expected once you hit save and exit editing mode. So when I try searching again, I can see that the search results are now embedded into this page. Another thing we can do here is link this page from your main navigation menu so it can be accessed quickly. I'm going to click the plus button here then link, title it search, and then either find my search page behind the cogwheel or simply type its URL slug here. Now let's save and open the home page again. As you can see, 
the search page is now linked from your site header. Now, remember how I added a slightly different configuration code to my homepage and the results there still open in a pop-up? To make it consistent, let's copy everything we have on our search page, go back home, open the code block, and replace everything with what I've just copied. Apply, save, and test. That's it. So now you know how to integrate Site Search 360 into your Squarespace site.